hello everyone so today we are going to implement a way to play a cutscene or a pre-rendered video when player reach a certain point in the level so when the player step on this white box And once we reach the end of the video, we are back in the level. So just like in a game that whenever we want to play a video cutscene, we can use this system. We just go to a point and then it opens a video file and play it in the UI and then close the UI. So let's see how to do this today. And before we get started, I'd like to remind you, you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done in my channel to the date there are over 1700 videos and for each video you can access the project files once you become a member in the patron page without a limit so feel free to check it out i'll leave the link in the description below and let's get back to the today's video all right so first of all let's create a new widget blueprint under user interface widget blueprint user widget i'll call it wdg card c so by the way we are working on the same project that we worked on yesterday on how to show this video on this physical display in the level inside the level not exactly physical this in-game level in level display and because of that we have already imported this media uh, this file media source and we have created media player just like this and then we have from that we have created the media texture and out of that we have created this material and also i should mention that i had already placed the video file the actual video file within the content folder movies and after that i dragged and dropped it here so we can get this file media source reference just in case you are not too sure about this step refer to this plain videos in ue5 video which is available in youtube in my channel i'll put a link in the description below there i showed all those steps on how to get this video file here okay now as i said we created a new widget and here let's add a new canvas panel into this and under that i'll add a new image so to this image i'll make it img video so this is where the video will be played i'll anchor it like this so it will be full screen and under this image we let's go here i don't think we can assign this texture yeah we can't so let's create a material m video UI. And then I'll change the material domain to user interface so we can apply this texture like this. Now, NVIDIA UI, we can assign that material. So, here, if I play this, now you see in the UI the video is playing so now the next step is getting this to display in our ui inside the game so let's say maybe let's create a trigger you can use it in a place like where you where the character go to a certain location within the level where you need to play a video so pp card scene trigger here now let's add a collider again i'm just gonna assume that this there is only the player character here 
so that we don't have to worry about checking who's going to collide with us but just in case you want to do that what you have to do is maybe set up a interface to check each player within the character so i will not cover that part here but if you want just let me know in the comments i'll try to send a reply so here under component begin overlap let's do this let's first create widget from wdg cutscene and promote this to variable i'll call it wdg cutscene and then we have this variable let's convert this to a validated get so that we don't if you already have a valid a valid reference there we don't have to create one we can just use it here otherwise if you don't have one we need to create one let me make it player controller add to be port right now just to right no it's fine and after that we need to trigger playing the video as well so for that i create a new variable dr player i'll call it m uh, just media player and i'll assign this media player object that we already have then here i'll call open file no not open file open source yeah open source and the source is this world engine because that's the only thing i have if you want you can promote this to a parameter promote to variable and make it public and if you need to have different video files played on different triggers you can change it here but for now i have only one and also i need to see this trigger place so let me add some simple object here cube like this so i can see the place great and that's all wait we may not hear the audio see now we get the video and oh i hear the sound already yeah i hear the sound only because here in this uh, in this object i have an audio component but if i didn't have that or if i'm away from that i will not hear the sound let's see see i don't get the sound so what i need to do is here we can add uh, what's the component name don't remember media media software yeah. here also you need to assign the same media player component then you have the sound here so the character is also near that but if you don't have an attenuation settings assigned then you would hear it no matter where I'm not hearing it. Why? Turns out when we have when we already have a media component, media sound component in the level, we only hear the sound in the first one. So let me just remove this. And here, if I go here, I hear the sound. All right. And one more thing, we need to remove the widget once the video is finished so for that the media source by on end sorry media player not the source on end reach bind event to on end reached so here we can create an event let's add a custom event let's call it close so what this has to do is simply closing the video that we have that means if we have the cutscene well we should have one if we are playing a video we just 
remove from parent right now let's see right now we should see the video closed yeah see now we are back in the level all right that's all i wanted to do for today so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in another episode feel free to let me know what else you guys want me to cover along these topics maybe you might need a way to skip cutscenes or i don't know just let me know in the comment and don't forget to like and subscribe see you in another episode again goodbye